Today we'll be unboxing a figure I've been waiting for a long time. That is uh, Momohime from Muramasa the Demon's Blade. Now, unlike uh, a lot of other openings I've done and general anime stuff, this is actually from a video game, uh, Muramasa the Demon's Blade. Uh, cool game. Um, I believe it was originally on the Wii. I had the uh, Vita version. I played the heck out of this. Really cool game, and Momohime was a cool character, a girl who's, like, possessed by this demon who, uh, through his skills, is kind of, like, turns her weak body into, like, this ultimate warrior. Uh, and if you haven't heard of Muramasa Demon's Blade, because, again, it was on the Wii, not a system a lot of hardcore gamers played on, and then poured to the Vita, which, the old joke of the Vita has no games, it's one of the good ones on it. Uh, these folks uh, who made this also made Odin Spear back on the PS2. And they also uh, made Dragon's Crown, their probably uh, most well-known game, because all the controversy surrounding it with uh, how the characters looked. Um, yeah, Dragon's Crown, <laughs> funnily enough, I actually didn't like this game. I played maybe like two hours of it before I gave up on it. Not, uh... It's similar to Muramasa, where it's like a 2D side-scroller action game, except Muramasa had way better combat, and uh, it has single plane, and you can go up and down kind of like old-school brawlers in Dragon's Crown on the screen. I felt like that took away from like the complexity of the combat, and I'm not liking it, but Muramasa, great game. So, uh, this figure, when I was first uh, collecting, when I first got into collecting figures, uh, this one, I would only ever see on eBay. It had been released a long time ago, and it was expensive. I'm talking about, like, I'd only see it for, like, $300 plus. Like, it was really, really pricey. And, yeah, I wasn't going to spend that much on one figure. I, I couldn't. So, uh, probably about a year ago, I saw that they were doing a second run of this figure. No idea why. Uh, Miramasa had been out for a long time, and I don't know what surge of popularity made it come back, but they, uh, they did a second run. And let me open this up. And so I pre-ordered it, like, a year ago. It showed up probably, like, a month ago. I haven't gotten around to opening it till now. And, yeah, let's see what this baby looks like. Ooh. Again, I don't... More tape. I don't save boxes. Heresy to some people, not to me. Let's get this thing out. Oh, God, it's got that new plastic smell. It's not more tape. Always more tape. Ooh. Okay. Let's run it along the sides. I think that's it. Okay. Mm. Get out of the way. All right. Woo. Let's get a closer look at this. Well, I had to back up a bit to get a better angle. Uh, oh snap! Is that? Oh, it's pretty cool. I let's see if I can try to take a closer look at it. Uh, here's the part I hate about. When you get a new anime figure and they have the plastic that goes like underneath the clothes. And you're trying to figure out, is this a piece of the figure I can tear off and then put back on? Or is this a thing I'm going to break if I take off? <laughs> I don't know. Well, her hand just came off, but it looks like it's supposed to. Let's uh, get that out. Uh, again, I can't tell if this is supposed to come off. There we go. Uh, Hmm. Oh, I was able to get that off. I'm struggling with it. Okay, I think we're good. Let's get our hand back on. Mm hmm. Okay, take a closer look at her. See if you can see the definitions more. Oh, it's uh, not the best sculpt on the face, I'll say. It, it's it's nice, certainly, but uh, there's something about the eyes, which they don't feel as defined as a lot of figures I get. 
Mm, you might not be able to tell through the camera. It might be a uh, you have to actually see in real life. Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at the rest of her. It's her cool freaking outfit of the armor. I always thought that was kind of cool design kimono with like the samurai armor on the sides. Uh, the sculpting on the legs and uh, her leg armor and everything. It's actually very good. Now, actually, uh, I didn't notice this when I first opened it, but take a look over here. Uh, she does appear to come with some sort of like sleeve alternative, so uh, it's hard to tell where that goes. Like, be right here. It's kind of weird. This seems like a weird accessory to me. I have to take a moment to figure that one out. <laughs> Again, it's like I don't want to tear the arms off. Uh, okay. Ooh, cool. One of her hand alternatives is holding the sheath. I'll probably use this one. Looks like the hand is actually built into being connected to the sheath. And finally, the base. Oh, and the sword. The base is actually really freaking cool. Just scenery from the game. Actually, I think this is part of the game where you fought the frog guys. Uh, that's just what it reminds me of. It's one area by a waterfall filled with frogs. If you played the game, you might remember. Let me just uh, get her on there. Let's see which way. Probably this way. Oof. Oh, that's solid. That is very solid. Nice. Okay. Then we have her sword. Very nice. Um, let's get this all put together. This took me a second to realize what I was doing. Uh, but it did come with some nice instructions to actually tell you what is pull offable and not and how you arrange things. Uh, I decided to go with this pose uh, with the one on the box actually, where she is uh, actually pulling the sword out. Uh, lots of ways you could put this together. Uh, well, I, I shouldn't say lots, probably just a couple. And uh, yeah, I got the extra sleeve, probably just gonna bag that away, just keep it on the side in case I ever want to do something with it. So yeah, uh, let's get some close up shots so everyone can uh, see all the details. So there we go. I'm pretty happy with this figure. It has really cool sculpt. Uh, I love the sword action. Uh, the base is really cool. Um, the only thing I think is kind of bad is the eyes. The eyes kind of look like they're just painted on. I know that's literally what they are, but uh, a lot of anime figures kind of do a good job at hiding that fact where they look like they fit, but on a close inspection, the eyes kind of look like really dull fake um <laughs> sounds kind of stupid saying that when it is but you know what i think if you've collected a few figures you'll know what i'm talking about um so yeah uh happy with it i'll gladly go and display case as soon as i find a spot for it and yeah really happy um i got this one off tokyo taku mode um actually the next few figures i'm probably gonna do unboxings of will be from there because Bunch of pre-orders I did a long time ago all kind of came at once. All from the same place. I do buy from other places, though. Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't think you'll be able to find it there. You might have to resort to eBay at this point. I'm sure most of the retailers are sold out. But it's good stuff. So uh, if you're interested in this, if you want to see more anime figure unboxings in the future, uh, subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.